Our reporters are standing by and covering the events happening in El Paso tonight and tomorrow. We're going to start right now with Tatiana Favela, who is live at Escada the Park, where people are driving through the Illuminarias display. She's telling us what the mood is like out there. Tatiana. Daniel, Natasha, we are actually here driving through the Luminarias commemoration display here at Escut at the Park. Now you can see that the roadway is actually lined up with thousands of Luminarias lighting up tonight. Now the, while the night remained peacefully quiet and quite somber, different spots, spots of the route also had live music. Now tonight is the first of the nights that will be displaying these luminarias throughout Escada the Park. The public was welcome to drive through and see the luminarias tonight at 8.30. Several people were driving through throughout the night, slowing down to see the various displays and also stopping by to take pictures and reflect on the lives that were lost on August 3rd. Now, if you can see right now, there has been multiple hundreds of cars that have been driving through. We've been standing by and even though the weather did pick up a little bit about an hour ago, that didn't stop from hundreds of El Pastoans coming to drive through the Luminarias commemoration here at Escada the Park and kind of take in everything as part of the first one of the first memorials and vigils and commemorations that the city is holding in honor of those 23 victims that did die on August 3rd. Again, they will be up for display tomorrow night as well. People can come in at 8.30 in the evening and it'll last until 11 tonight. So we are gonna finish making this round around here, but again, you can come tomorrow. If you missed it tonight, you can come at 8.30 in the evening and be able to, to see these displays until 11 p.m. tomorrow night on the anniversary of August 3rd. Reporting live at Escada at the Park, Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News.